Hi, I'm Ksenia and we're looking into the secrets of Charleston 20s. And the next topic I would like to share with you is fall of the lock tricks. Now what is fall of the lock? Fall of the lock is the actual movement of your body when you fall from a piece of brick, say. Hey, shagada agada. So it's a movement of falling. Let's scientifically look deeper into the pattern of steps. We have kick, cross, step, cross, cross, step, cross, cross, step, cross, kick, cross, step, cross. We would most often start fall of the lock on count number eight, simply because offbeat is emphasized in jazz music very often. Now, what can we do with this pattern? First of all, as you know, that the twist is the king of Charleston 20s, we will twist the fall of the lock. Meaning, every time you put your foot on the floor, your heels are going opposite directions. The most important is just to start the clockwork. Kick. Now, the first movement that, the, that we have to do is we move the heels opposite direction. Now, from here, I open the heels, and from here, I close the heels and from here I open both of them because I have a simple kick. So I have kick, close, open, close, kick, close, open, close, kick, close, open, close. Now very important to remember when you insert the twist in your stepping, you're still stepping. And what is stepping? Is a change of weight. So you always transfer weight. Be aware not to do something like Yes, and get completely confused. So we're mostly on, on, on the balls of our feet and we let the heels swing this or that direction. Now what if we start our fall of the lock? Not with this kind of kick, but with this kind of kick. How will the twist work there? Eight, one, two, three. Eight, one, two, three. Eight, one, two, three. And the same will happen if you just put that kick on the floor. So I'll show you three of them together. Five, six, seven, kick, kick, a kick, a kick, on the floor, on the floor. Hot jazz music that we dance Charleston to is quite fast. So something that I showed you right now is almost like a blues for a Charleston dancer. So the beat would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So to keep that tempo in your body, you have to remember several things. First, music. So scat or sing the pattern, the melody of your step. Eight taga do da, sha taga do da, sha step, 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 sha step, step, step. If you want to do a movement faster, you actually have to run through it. So if the music is slow, we can let ourselves dig into the floor and be, and be almost vertical. So we can go dig, dig, dig into the floor, really bounce through. But if the music is fast, we cannot allow ourselves to do that because we will not be able to do anything. So what do we do is we actually run through the movement and we go run, 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 run. So if you would feel, if you would see, this is exactly the motion that I'm doing, putting a cosmetic makeup with the twist on it. So practice that to a faster music a few times.